Good morning, Red Hawks Nation, and welcome to your R360 Morning Announcements. I'm your host, Carter Lowen. And I'm Gavin Lemoyne. Welcome to Monday, October 21st. <laughs> it is day four on the school calendar. <laughs> the grade seven and eights have intramurals today, and it's senior year's choir day. Please note that the rehearsal will start at 12.45 and end earlier. <laughs> senior intramurals volleyball teams are posted. Games will begin tomorrow. Six of our grade five as well as choir students participated in all day choral workshop this past Friday. <laughs> It was impressive to hear the very musical students learn four songs in a day and perform at the evening concert. Sticking with choral news, the Eastman Choir wrapped up their fall tour with a concert Sunday night. Kalia and Joel Cruz added their voices to the 45-member choir. Congratulations to Joel Cruz, who was a recipient of the Ruman Uman, Ruth, Ruth Uman Memorial Scholarship, an award given to a choir member who demonstrates musical talent leadership and compassion for fellow choir members. Let's take a look at a highlight. We have a couple of Inktober submissions to share with you from our Red House artist. Kyra on grade one submitted the following art with the frontward swing, and Aiden from grade seven submitted this impressive piece with his prompt word legend. If you'd like to submit your artwork to be featured on the news, send it to r360 at rrbs.ca. And don't miss it. In sports news, JV girls volleyball team had a successful tournament in Carmen this weekend. After finishing second in round robin play, they won over NPC in the semifinals and faced Carmen in the finals. They played hard and pulled off the win against Carmen in two sets to become tournament champions. Kara Bartel was awarded tournament MVP. Olsen Sports, the weekend saw the grade seven eight boys volleyball team compete, compete in the tournament Steinbeck. The team finished second in their pool and advanced to the playoffs. They finished in the top half of 14 teams. By the end of the tournament, they're feeling much more confident in their own skills, in the rules of the game, and a good three-hit play. This will be a good warm-up for the boys. First divisional volleyball tournament tomorrow in Oak Bluff. And finally, a very happy birthday wish going out to Brian Badman today. That's all of us from the art for the announcements this morning from all of us at the R360 Newsroom. Have a great day.